friends and supporters, hello. This is Agul Pro. I'm so excited today to bring you a brand new video. And just before I start the video, I want to take the time to say thank you to all of you who subscribe to the channel and those who write a comment and to show with a uh, thumb, um, push up that they like the video that they watch and also those who uh, share the video with all their contacts and i hope and pray that you make this channel a, your home page for all the information you might need regarding the uh, different subject that i uh, treated on this channel so today i bring you a brand new uh, uh, video like i said that has uh, for title uh, social security when the best time to collect the benefits uh, just before i start the video uh, i'm taking a short break between 10 to 12 seconds and i'll be right back stay tuned back after the break to start the video social security when the best time to collect it the question is who is qualified for social security benefits everyone from 62 years to 70 years is qualified to receive social security benefits. He only needs to work and have 40 credits as he pays social security taxes during the time he has been working. How do they control that? Each time you have an earned income, of $1,470 on a single year, you have one credit for that amount. You can have up to, you can make as many credit as you, uh, you can work for as much as you want for the year. And each time you have more and more money and for the full year, you can make full credit for the year. Let's say if you work 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 1 million, you have full credit for that year. And imagine if you work like that for 10 years and each year you have full credit, uh, during that time of 10 years, you already accumulate 40,000 credit that you need to be qualified to receive social security benefits. So the question is, when is the best time to collect it? Get the credit is one thing. That means if you have 40 credit, that's one thing. It's, it's part of qualifying you to receive social security. But also, you need to have the age in order to collect, to qualify to collect social security benefits. And uh, this qualification is very important and they classify it at different period during the years. Let's say if, for example, 
if you were born before 1943, you can collect full social security benefits at the age of uh, 60, at any age, at the age before 62. Yes, before 62. But if you were born between 1944 in, and 1954, uh, 54, you can collect full social security benefits at the age of 65. And, but if you were born after 1950, uh, 55 or 54, let's say uh, uh, by 1955 to the present time, you can collect social security full social security benefits at the age of uh, uh, 67. however anyone who has a health problem who cannot walk can receive disability benefits at any age as long as he had between 24 to 31 credits. Then credits. Yes, you can collect what they call disability or disability benefits. But you need to have certain credit and you need to have a what they call a certain health issue. You cannot work. But the normal age set up by the social security administration is 66 at the age of 66 uh, you can collect full social security benefits it, but not only you can collect uh, full social security benefits and but and beside that each year you wait not have in collecting social security benefits they add another eight percent each year you wait to the full benefits you should receive at the age of 66. up to 32 credits and 32 percent you can receive from the social security if you wait at the age of 70 years so after the 70 years you, there would be no more added uh, to the benefits what they call 70 is the is the top or is the cap about what you can receive for social security benefits but for people who collect social security benefits before the age of 62, not only they pay the tax on what the, the amount they collect, also the government charge them a 10% penalty because they collect the social security earlier or before the 62 so why do you have to call to to pay for solar uh, um, penalty when you can wait for 62 or 62 to collect the social security benefits if you collect before 62 you pay you pay taxes on what they pay you plus the penal they, they make you pay a penalties of 10 percent and that is stay with you until you die every year you pay not only the tax regular taxes not uh, uh, benefits and also they charge you the penalty uh, on that so you should wait you should wait 
not to have to pay the 10 percent penalty before the by before the time you can wait you can collect the social security before 62 but at, at the time set the schedule the earliest you can collect uh, social security benefits is at 62 without having a penalty charge but according to your health you decide when the best time you want to collect your social security benefits and you know you will not if you know your health is not in good condition and you know you not you will not live too long then you can make the decision to say okay i want to collect my social security at the age of 62 with that i can get part of what i have been paying on the social security instead of wait for 66 or 65 and after that you only live two or three years and die so if you know your health is not on good condition and you know you will not live long then you can make the decision to say okay i want to collect my social security security benefits at the age of 62 with that you can get more money coming to you by the short time you have to live okay yes for if you know if you not wait if you know you have a good health and you will live long wait until you have 66 to collect your full social security benefits as i said if you start collecting at 62 you will get the benefits coming to you you pay taxes that's fine for the federal taxes but at the same time they limit you how uh, they give you set amount you can work for during the year in order if you go over that amount they will allow you to work for for every dollar you make more they charge you taxes more than regular taxes you're supposed to collect from you because you go over that amount let's say if you they say you can work more than twenty thousand dollars and you make twenty five thousand dollars they take off the 25 out the 20 out of 25 and the 25 the five thousand you pay more and they they double the tax on that five thousand so that's mean if you know you will live long then wait until you get the 66 years to start calling your social security benefits and over and with that you can have your full social security benefits plus you can work as much as money you can make without penalize for working for that kind of amount of money you only pay your uh, the tax as a regular tax is only it's a good benefit uh, good benefits to wait to wait uh, for that age but it depends on your health and it depends on how long you know or you plan to live no one plan no one knows if we know with the allow time we can do but we don't know but with your health and you keep yourself active do exercise eat well sleep well and you know that you can live beyond, beyond then wait for 66 and over 
Okay, for myself, my goal is to start collecting, uh, my goals was to start collecting the social security at the age of 70. But, and expect, and I expect to live long as well. But when I, uh, I, I will take in, I say at age of, let's say if I live long, about 90, 100, 150, 120, if I live that long, that would be fine. As long as I'm able to do everything on my own, do my garden, do my cooking, do my cleaning, and driving around, that would be fine. But if I'm not be able to get beyond good shape like that, why do I live that long? And beside that, if I live long and wait to start collecting my social security at the age of 70, uh, the top, and then when I reach the age of 90 or 100, I don't, I don't go, uh, I don't go, I will not go around at that age because I will stay home. But now what I think, I think I'm going to collect my social security benefits at the age of the, the latest, at the age of 68. And with that, I will get the money coming to me. I can go wherever I want to go. Then I will have time to, to do whatever I want to do. And with that, instead of waiting on for the 70, I have the money, but I can use the money on myself to do certain things I didn't have time to do while I was working. So that the reason I said, we need to know, I, I need to make that video to share and uh, this thought with all the friends and supporters of my channel, you know, that they too, they may make the take about that. About which I had early to be penalized by the government or retired at the right time, they can get the full social security benefits and work at the same time without penalize or wait. If they want uh, to wait for 70, that's fine too. But imagine what you can do at that, at that age, 100, 105, 110, you will be houseborn. Even you do cooking, you do garden, but you you don't you, you, uh, traveling will not be interesting that much to you because uh, uh, several things will happen. Okay, and for that reason, I make this video, and I hope this video will help you to make the right decision about when the best time for you to collect the social security benefits. As I say again, please make this channel your homepage for all the information that you need. In order to do that, just subscribe to the channel, write a comment, share the channel with all your friends, and they too can have access with all those information. You will find me on, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Thanks again for your time. And that was your friend, Akul Kuo, who brought you that kind of information. Always stay connected for next video, and you will never know what kind of information you will get to it. Thank you for your time, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.